Arms. Hey guys, Coat of Arms is back. We have got uh, something new here uh, that we're gonna check out today. It's the CAA MCK Micro Conversion Kit. Now what this kit is, it's a uh, polymer basically chassis that you can insert one of your favorite handguns into to convert it to, uh, basically to a submachine gun profile uh, type device. So uh, we have just received this from uh, MD Charlton. It's the CAA uh, MCK. Apparently this particular one that we're gonna look at for the first time today uh, is set up to receive a Glock. So uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna play around with it a bit, take some shots with the standard Gen 4 Glock 17, uh, see how we do with it. And then we're gonna put it into the uh, micro conversion kit and see how it improves our accuracy and uh, maybe talk a bit about uh, functionality of the MCK kit as well. All right guys, uh, we're unboxing the uh, CA uh, kit here. This one uh, has been opened before, so this is not exactly how it's packaged, but uh, I just wanna make it clear that uh, there's a couple different versions of the kit. Uh, there, you know, the base version has basically the core chassis that it comes with, and then there's some upgrades uh, that you can buy as a kit, uh, or I believe separately as well. So, namely in terms of upgrade, we've got the uh, front and rear sights, flip up sights. Uh, we've got thumb rests, and the thumb rests are actually on both sides. Sling. And another cool device is there's actually a flashlight uh, that can be inserted uh, up at the front of the chassis. Now, if you don't get the flashlight, there's basically a, a plug uh, to go inside that uh, aperture. But this is the decked out kit, but you can also get it in the basic kit with just the chassis, you know, where you can mount your own optics and, and tweak it as you like. Moving on, uh, right now we just have this uh, plastic insert uh, demo pistol here. Uh, we're gonna talk a bit about how uh, you take this out and insert your firearm into here. So there actually is a, a switch here. You press that, this opens up at the back here. This basically this trap door. And then up at the front here, on both sides, you'll see there's two clips. You pull down on those clips and it comes out. All right guys, uh, we're just gonna use a, a stock Gen 4 Glock 17. So we're gonna just basically reverse uh, what we did there. We're gonna insert the pistol up and in and we're gonna line up the uh, rear serrations to where they need to be. Okay, and we're gonna push that guy forward. All right guys, uh, we, uh, we just had a minor hiccup, but it's not really a hiccup. Uh, we went to put our 17 in this chassis and uh, we forgot to uh, check what it was set up for. It was actually set up uh, for the 19, but making the switch over to accept the 17 uh, is quite straightforward. So we're gonna take the thumb rest off. We're just gonna lift the clip, slide it forward. And then as you'll see guys here, got an Allen key, it accepts an Allen key. So there's two positions here. So the position is right now, if you can see it, uh, it's kind of faint, it says 19. We're gonna have to adjust this over to the 17 setting so that it can accept the slightly longer slide. Now that I've taken those two screws out here, uh, we're gonna set this up for the 17 that we have. So the barrel shroud, I'm actually gonna pull it out and you'll actually see there's a 17 right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset those two screws to lock that barrel shroud into place for the 17 we have. Very conveniently, the CAA kit comes with the Allen key in the box. So it's just snap back right into place. So you can see though, while I'm doing that, you just lift that tab and you can pick your position on the pick rail. So we've got our uh, thumb rests back into place. All right guys, now that we've uh, adjusted our kit to accept the 17, again, no mag, clear, insert the pistol, seat it in, slide it forward, and then this trap door here, we're gonna push it down and then slide it forward to lock it in. So now that I've locked this uh, this pistol in here, it's it's in there. Like there is literally no play, whether back and, back and forth, forward. Or if I try to move it laterally in the chassis, there is extremely little play there. First impressions, it uh, it feels really compact, but uh, I'm actually digging this uh, thumb rest up here. As you, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it naturally contours to your hand. So my index finger is wrapping around there nice, other fingers there, and I'm just resting my thumb. So guys, you might be wondering, you know, why would I want 
uh, a kit of this type. Uh, a couple reasons. Well, let's loop back. Uh, in Canada, we don't have to deal with the whole SDR issue that uh, our American friends do. So that's kind of a non-factor uh, when it comes to that. But think about this. Oh, you guys could spend a lot of money on something like a like a high-end SIG MPX, uh, but maybe you've already got uh, you know a SIG 320 uh, or a Glock 19, and you don't want to dish out all that cash. This might be an answer where you can buy this this kit for you know around the $200 mark and use your existing pistol platform within it. Um, also keeping in mind your pistol platform in Canada. 10 rounds, whereas uh, some sub guns on the market, you're limited to five rounds, especially if they're classified as a rifle. Here, here in Canada, we're talking about this, you know, 10 round mag, which is really cool. You've got your 10 round mag uh, in your pistol, but you can also store the second round, or your extra mag, literally up in front. So we can have a loaded mag here, and we've got our spare mag here. So guys, we'll eject our spent mag, put a little pressure forward on this guy here, pull it out back in the game. As opposed to having to reach to your uh, to your pouches, it's literally right there. You know, this is already a really compact package, but guys, I, uh, I'm gonna show you here. Check out this stock here. So it's simple push button manipulation. Uh, so it was already compact, and now we just took like another eight inches off it. So I just wanna point this out here. I don't know if you can see it right there, but having the stock in the folding position does not prevent you from firing it in this position. As you can see actually, I can rack the slide because it doesn't interfere. So, yep, away you go. We're gonna do a fun little, uh, fun little test here. We're gonna put some mags down range. We're gonna, uh, for coolness, use our 33 round mag pin to 10, but uh, you know, it looks fun. You know, running our Glock inside the CAA kit, and then we're gonna take it out of the kit and uh, see uh, how, if our accuracy degrades at all. Uh, we're shooting at 25 yards right now. I just want to note, uh, we just literally pulled this out of the box, so I don't know where these sights are at, but uh, hopefully they're on paper and we can uh, get an idea of how it groups. Midlife flu season. Your last three shots were solid. Same target or no? I'm gonna go same target. Yeah. Just to see what it, it consistently groups. Good. Yeah, you group are pretty good now. Once you got comfortable, you had, you had one flyer in each mag, and they actually, you almost put them in the same spot. But once you settled in, uh, you dial it in, you started to group in this general area here. How many shots are on that one really tight group right there? At least four. Maybe I'll try to do the same thing with just the pistol this time. Yep. And uh, we'll see kind of what the result is. Yep, and then I'll try these two targets here. Perfect. You're just shooting top right? Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm gonna do pistol, low right target. All right, that's one mag. There's two mags with the pistol. Okay, two more mags with the Roni. All right. All right, guys, for the second mag, I am going to uh, change apertures here. So I'm just going to flip it up. Uh, hopefully that tightens up the group a little bit.
Well, now that Corey and I have both shot the pistol standalone and within the kit, and now I'm actually looking at our targets, and for both of us, using the kit has probably decreased our group by like 60 to 70%. And that's for both of us. I can tell myself for sure, I've brought it in probably four or five inches, and Corey has probably brought his in uh, almost six inches. I think it's actually a really cool piece of kit. You can buy this this kit for you know around the two hundred dollar mark. It's super compact. You know you can adapt it to however you want. You know red dot that sort of thing, um, and it just turns your you know your stock pistol into something really fun. Basically uh, an SBR, which is incredible. I could probably see myself just leaving this Glock in the kit all the time and always having a nine mil sub gun ready to go. Special thanks to uh, Silverdale Gun Club for letting us uh, shoot and film here. Thanks to Peter over at MD Charlton for uh, loaning us this uh, CA kit to uh, check it out and uh, report back to you guys. You better bet we're going to see some more footage of this thing in the future. And so you don't miss out, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube.com. This is Code of Arms.